Greetings to everyone! In this video my cinema explorations around London's Leicester Square will continue and this time I will visit a brand new West End Audion Dolby Cinema. Spoiler alert! In my opinion it is the best cinema that I have visited in London so far. Before I start, I'd like to remind you that you can subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram or even consider supporting future videos on Patreon. You will find all the links in the description. So, this is a brand new Audion West End Dolby Cinema, which opened its doors in September 2021, occupying the basement of a newly rebuilt hotel The Londoner. The first wow moment that you experience right after you walk into the lobby is that you have to travel down the escalator six floors below the ground. This is an amazing solution which helps to isolate the auditorium from sounds of the outside world. Please keep in mind, if you ever decide to book your tickets, that there are two auditoriums here and only screen one is Dolby Cinema. The interior of the foyer looks contemporary and smart. It gives you a cozy feeling and it's nice to spend some time there before the movie enjoying a nice cup of Costa coffee. To my understanding this is as close as you can get to the perfect room. Not too big and not too small, with 166 super comfortable reclining seats. If this auditorium had standard seating installed, its capacity potentially would be around 250 seats. There are no aisles or other obstructions in the middle of the auditorium, meaning that more people are getting the best experience possible. The raking is as steep as in IMAX cinemas, so even a tall person sitting right in front of you will not obstruct the view. All the surfaces are mainly black or finished with other dark hues. This stops the light from the walls bouncing back on the screen and spoiling this stunning contrast ratio. The screen takes up almost the whole wall, from left to right, from floor to ceiling. Maybe it is not as big as IMAX, but it definitely looks bigger than screens in most conventional cinemas. You have to understand that it's not the size that matters. What really matters is how much of your sight field is covered by the screen. There is a recommendation from an association called SMPTE, which stands for Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, that viewing angle should be at least 30 degrees. On the other hand, THX recommendation is 40 degrees. And according to 20th Century Fox, ideal viewing angle is 45 degrees. I was really curious to find what is Dolby's recommendation on that, but I couldn't. If anyone knows what viewing angle is recommended by Dolby, please let me know in the comments below. Regarding the picture quality, it was the most perfect projection image that I have ever seen. Amazingly consistent, doesn't lose its brightness closer to the edges of the screen like it did in Cineworld Empire IMAX. Stunning contrast ratio, with deepest blacks exactly as advertised. Scenes with explosions or sun made me squint, that's how bright they were. And of course the colors were vibrant and at the same time very natural. Dual laser light source projection system was doing a marvelous job. I have to mention the room acoustics first, as I was very disappointed after my visit to Leicester Square Dolby Cinema. If you want to know more about that issue, you could check my video about that cinema where I explained it in full detail. Link will appear in the top right corner of the screen. 
I was relieved when I realized that the auditorium had no problems with acoustics. I couldn't hear any annoying echoes bouncing down the room. To my ears the decay time was quite short and that made the dialogue sound extremely clear even during the quiet moments. One of the main tasks of a sound mixing engineer is to put you into an acoustic environment which matches the one you see on the screen. So even with your eyes closed you could hear that action unfolds inside a cathedral or small room, somewhere in a forest or an underground tunnel. That wouldn't be possible if the decay time of the room was too long. It is important not only to manage the acoustics of the room, but also not to let any unwanted sound get inside of it. The fact that it's located six stories below the street level definitely helps to keep out all the noise from the outside world. Dolby Cinema West End as well as Dolby Cinema Leicester Square is using SLS speakers. I have counted 34 surround speakers in this auditorium. Left and right walls had six surround speakers each, as well as the rear wall. There were 16 speakers on the ceiling, 8 on the left and 8 on the right hand side. Vast majority of these speakers were two-way full range coaxial SLS MA480AS or MA460AS speakers. It's really hard to tell exactly as they look almost identical. By the shape and dimensions of the remaining four ceiling speakers which were located closest to the screen, I could guess that they were SLS 114RT-IPXO. They are a bit more powerful two-way speakers with 6-inch rotatable high output planar ribbon driver. As always, I will leave a link in the description where you can find a full list of specifications of all the speakers that I have mentioned. During my first visit I didn't even realize that these were subwoofers. I had spent some time studying a whole range of SLS speakers on their website and came to the conclusion that they might be SLS 218i subwoofers. I suspect that the whole LFE channel is handled by these four subs which are rigged to the ceiling and face each other in pairs. This bass management method helps to avoid noticeable peaks and pits and helps to create an even bass throughout the auditorium. Probably everyone is very curious which speakers are located behind the screen, but sadly this as well as the number of screen channels will remain a mystery. I am almost certain that they fused some of the SLS speakers. Hopefully one day Audion will agree to let me film an official tour video so I can tell you for sure. To form a fully comprehensive opinion I have watched three movies there and every movie sounded stunningly. I could hear every detail regardless how loud or quiet it was. Sound level was just right. Not too loud to make me feel uncomfortable, but loud enough to fill it with my chest and even shake my seat occasionally. There was not even a sign of any distortion. When I watched the Matrix Resurrections and Spider-Man No Way Home, I wanted the level of the subs to be slightly higher. However, while I was watching Dune, the whole sound spectrum sounded perfectly balanced to me. Hard to say why I felt that it was slightly liking the bass in other movies I've mentioned. It is three different movies, so the sound mix could have been balanced differently. I would be a bit more worried if the cinema reduced the bass level because of the complaints from the hotel guests. Or maybe it's just my subjective perception. I have to watch a few more movies to know for sure. 
Regarding the three-dimensional surround sound, it was the best Dolby Atmos experience so far. During the first visit, I located the seats on which all the surround speakers were focused. So if you choose seats 10 and 11 on row E, you would be sitting at the sweetest spot possible, and a fully immersive experience would be guaranteed. Don't worry if the best seats in the house are already taken. As long as you book your seats located within the virtual line between left and right ceiling speakers, you are fine. These SLS coaxial speakers are designed with very wide coverage angles, so more people in the auditorium could get the best experience possible. This cinema is perfect in every aspect. Super comfortable seating, carefully designed auditorium, crystal clear image and powerful and most immersive sound. Now West End Dolby Cinema shares the first place in my cinemas list, together with BFI IMAX, which I will choose to see movies shot on 70mm film and digital IMAX certified cameras. So this is it for this video, if you have any suggestions which cinema I should review next, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and I'll see you soon, goodbye.